I want to turn now to Senator Claire McCaskill first for what we're witnessing and what comes next. Well, uh, technically what the senators are doing right at this moment is going to lunch. Uh, the Republican senators are going to the Mike Mansfield room, which is uh, right outside the center doors of the chamber. Um, and the Democrats are going to the LBJ room. And this is where the leaders work their magic. This is where the leaders um, try to keep everybody unified. This is where they talk about messaging and how they're going to handle this and what kind of um, things they should be talking about if, in fact, they're coming on this network or any other networks. Uh, and, of course, Mitch McConnell has a big job because he's trying to hold those four votes for no witnesses, which has become much more difficult in the last 24 hours with the Parnas bombshells and with the documentation that is now surfacing and the GAO determination that this administration broke the law. Um, once we're back uh, in, in and we have this, the picture of the Senate up, I'll be happy to spend some time talking about the layout of the Senate. The major differences you're seeing in the way the Senate chamber looks right now is the tables down in front are for the clerks. That's where the clerks of both parties sit. They're the ones that keep track of who's voted and who hasn't. They're the ones who work with the respective leaders of the floor for the staffs. Then behind them are the employees of the U.S. Senate. Those are the ones that sit right under the president of the Senate's chair. And one of those people is probably the most important person in the chamber, more important than the chief justice. And her name is Elizabeth McDonough. Elizabeth McDonough is the first woman parliamentarian of the Senate. So as this goes along, in fact, I'll tell you a little secret. When senators are speaking from the dais and you see it on C-SPAN, you don't see Elizabeth, but she's telling them what to say. She's the ghostwriter in real time. She's giving them the script of what the procedural language that must be used, whether you're voting on an amendment or trying to determine whether something is in order. Um, so Elizabeth is the one who they will turn to. Uh, when it's time to use the right language, when it's time to ask questions about the procedures. Now, the difference is that in this situation, everything is up in the air in terms of the rules according to what a bare majority says. Within the confines of that room, they can decide to call witnesses. They can decide to dismiss it. They can decide to have live witnesses in the chamber, all determined by 51 votes. And the chief justice can't change what they decide, and neither can Elizabeth McDonough. But as you watch the proceedings, watch Elizabeth, because she will be turned and talking to the president of the Senate and telling them what to say and do. Um, Chuck Grassley's up there because he's the most senior member of the Republican Party. Diane Feinstein and Pat Leahy will escort the chief justice because they're the most senior members of the Democratic Party. And today, Senator Grassley will yield to the chief justice. Then. He will. He will exit. As the, as the most senior Republican. Uh, and by the way, usually the most junior members are on the chair. You don't want to preside. It's long hours and mostly to an empty chamber. And you get a, you get a golden gavel if you preside for 100 hours. I managed two golden gavels That's because the, I uh, had to preside so often. Sen- I was so sick of presiding. A senatorial version of employee of the month. Exactly. Uh, the, the entire exactly. panel. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.